As cannabis legalization spreads across the country, many have raised concerns regarding safety, environmental effects, and economic impact. Joining us today with some industry updates is Nick Kovacevic, and he is the CEO of Kushko Holdings, a company that specializes in safe and sustainable cannabis packaging. Nick, good morning, sir. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Glad to talk with you this morning. So I have to first ask you, what is the state of the industry in Tennessee and Georgia? Uh, so right now, Tennessee and Georgia uh, are outliers. They're, they're two of the most restrictive uh, states when it comes to medical cannabis, and uh, there's really no path uh, clear in the near future for getting adult use or, or recreational cannabis to those states. Uh, Tennessee's program uh, was rolled out or signed into law in 2014. It's very narrow, um, and there was a more robust initiative uh, that was, uh, you know, looking like it was getting traction, but unfortunately. Uh, died earlier this year and so it doesn't look like there'll be a more comprehensive uh, medical program uh, until uh, the maybe on the ballot for uh, 2020 uh, when the voters can get to the polls and, and, and potentially choose to enact something. Uh, Georgia uh, very similar as well and uh, there just doesn't seem to be a ton of momentum behind cannabis in, in either of those states. So recently we've been seeing a lot of confusion regarding CBD so what should we really know this morning? Mm -hmm. So yeah, CBD is the talk of the town right now, and the reason is is because uh, last year they signed in the Farm Bill, uh, which essentially legalizes industrial hemp production, and we're seeing farmers that are struggling in other categories now switching over to growing hemp, and we know hemp can be used for a lot of different things, um, including textiles and ropes, and, and you know, hopefully uh, actually uh, some of the formulations to make packaging products, which would be very interesting, um, but the other uh, main use is going to be extraction of CBD. CBD or cannabidiol is uh, one of the active components in cannabis. Uh, THC is the psychoactive component. Um, CBD is no psychoactive effect, so you won't be getting high from CBD, but they do say that there is medicinal benefits, uh, anti-inflammatory, pain reliever. We're seeing people taking CBD on a, as a daily supplement to eliminate or alleviate the need for Advil uh, or some of these other uh, traditional wellness products. So uh, it's very exciting. Uh, we, this, there needs to be more research. Uh, we have the ability to do that now that CBD is federally legal. Um, and the FDA has to opine on the issue. Uh, to date, the FDA has not given guidance on how they want to allow CBD in the forms of food or beverage products. And so everybody's sort of pausing and waiting for that. And today it's available, but only in lotions and topical and, and some tincture oil forms. But uh, soon, uh, hopefully within the next few years, CBD will be available in any product. Nick, thanks for enlightening us this morning on this product. It's cer certainly a talker. So many people talking about it. Again, if you're ever in a chatting in the area, you got to stop by and see us, my friend. Absolutely. I'd love to. Thanks so much, Nick, joining us this morning. Now let's go to Brian for a look at your Storm Track 9 forecast.